right, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today marks the first ever ice fishing show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I'm super, super pumped. Uh, I'm gonna be working the clam booth, but I'm going to be kind of showing you guys, walking around, what the Oshkosh show is all about. For those of you guys that weren't able to make it, obviously this is the first one. So I know it's a lot of you guys probably couldn't make it if you guys are from around Wisconsin, but I wanted to at least bring the camera with, show you guys a little bit of what the show is about, show you guys what's new from clam, show you guys what's new from a couple other vendors and uh, just kind of bring you along with it. So I'm headed there right now. I got about seven, seven minutes left of my drive. So I'm going to pick up the camera when I get to the front door, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Stick with us, stay tuned and let the ice show begin. All right, guys, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about something that's new from Clam this year. This is the new max entry door system from Clam. Super pump. Uh, I'm probably not going to get the 600 this year because I already have the 600 in the older version, but I'm probably going to get the 400 with the big door and the Ice Team version. What's cool about the Ice Team is if you come on in here, the Ice Team version has all of these lights, and obviously this is just for a show model. That's why there's... That's why you can walk right through it. But normally that's obviously all secluded and then it comes with the lights built right into the shack. Super nice for overnight camping, filming, like you guys know I film all the time. So to have lights built right into the shack, I mean, it's a no brainer. Why wouldn't you want them built right in? And then you just run it, like we're just running in the shack here. Oop, I just turned it off. But we're just running an amped outdoors battery in here. Literally will run you like forever. These lights in the background don't really use any drainage. Um, from the battery so you can really just use one battery and run for a very long time if you keep coming in here obviously like this is going to be your ideal camping setup right you have two cots over here literally only takes up half the shack and then you can literally set up a table a tv coolers chairs drill some holes have a bunch of buddies in here hang out i mean it's this is like camping in paradise and as we call it clamping here at clam it's super cool to just come on come on out on the ice fish all night long and uh Take a, take a rest, and then when you get up in the morning, you get to go fishing right away in the morning. You don't even have to drive out. So, super cool. Biggest thing from Clam, obviously, the new Max Entry Door System. The lights that come in, the new Ice Team Shack, and that goes for the flipovers and the hubs. You guys know me. I'm a hub guy, so definitely go check out the new hub shelters from Clam. We're going to try to play some pranks on some people walking. We got a $5 bill. We got an ice rod. We got some two-pound tests. Tying a $5 bill onto a fishing rod. We're going to try to... We're gonna try to hook somebody with a five dollar bill. <laughs> this is gonna be great. All right, here we go. How many people do you think are gonna fall for it? More than one. I know I would. I know I would. Five dollars is five dollars. There we go. All right, I'm in the shack. Somebody's gonna see it. Somebody's gotta see it. Somebody's gotta see it. <laughs> that was perfect. Here, I'll give you a dollar for good effort, okay? <laughs> we, we put a five dollar bill on tape with a fishing rod. Can I use that for YouTube? Yes, yep. sir. Right, oh, you got it? it? Yeah, I got that's it. my son. Oh, yeah, I got it all. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to watch a YouTube video, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. You got it. All right, so those of you guys, obviously, that aren't here, you don't know this, but there is a second building that a lot of people don't know about. There's a trout pond. So I'm going to go try to catch some trout. It's windy air than a heck out here. Got a little bit of snow last night. All right, guys, we got a bait. Yep. <laughs> Smoke the jig. Dude, check it out. Cool little brook trout. Here, baby. Double, 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 double. double. Woo! Hello, everyone. Matt here with Amped Outdoors. I want to show you today all the different battery types that we have available to you to make your experience on the water easier. So we have batteries all the way down to seven and a half amp hour. This is a great battery for your traditional flashers, LED lights, weighs in under two pounds, uh, very affordable option. All the way up to, for fishing electronics battery, our 48 amp hour battery made for forward facing sonar. One thing we're finding out is people are fishing longer 
People are using larger screens, especially with forward-facing sonar. Batteries like this will allow you to spend not only a full day, but all the way up to a full weekend out on the ice and not have to bring multiple batteries. So it's very popular. And we have everything kind of in between, um, in between those. So really a battery to fit everybody's needs. Now, if you're an open water person, we've got very large selection of marine batteries, anywhere from 60 amp hour, 12 volt, all the way up to 160 amp hour, 12 volt. And we specialize in 24 and 36 volt batteries for your trolling motor. So instead of having to run two to three batteries in your boat, you can eliminate all of those and just run one battery in your boat on your 24 and 36 volt systems. One thing we introduced in 2023 is our Bluetooth monitoring system, which you can monitor your batteries using your phone. And it's not just one at a time, you can monitor all the batteries in your boat using that Bluetooth technology. So we're available at a lot of shows like this one here at the ice fishing show, the Wisconsin ice fishing show. Um, also, you can see us at ampedoutdoors.com. All right, guys, I'm in the Blackfish booth. I wanted to show you guys some new stuff. Obviously, you guys know I'm using this on the ice in my boat. It doesn't really matter. I'm always, always running the Blackfish stuff. Like I said in my last video, you know, I don't like to wear a full suit on the ice. I wear um, just like the clam bibs, and then I'll wear a hoodie, and then I'll throw one of the Gale hoodies on. I'll show you guys those in a bit, but the first thing I want to show you are these gloves here. Um, I'm picking a pair up. They're super, super slick, 100% waterproof. I literally ran my hand under a sink with these and they're 100% waterproof. So if you're ice fishing, you want to grab that fish, take a picture, you know, you don't have to worry about your hands getting cold, wet, slimy. You know, it, they're super easy to wash. I mean, these are like, these are killer. So ice fishing, open water, if you want to hold some fish, stick your hand in the water to release the fish. You don't have to worry about getting your hands cold. Super cool. So you guys know me, I'm always, like I said, I'm always running these on top of my bibs, whether I'm open water fishing or not. Um, the gale stuff with the fleece, the nap fleece inside, absolutely killer. It keeps the wind off you, keeps the water off you, super, super slick. You guys know me. If you've ever seen a picture, you ever watch a video, I'm always wearing this stuff. So super, super slick. I'm even wearing the vest right now. We got vests here too, uh, but we're just kind of showing what we got here um, at the Blackfish booth. One last thing I want to show you are the storm skin bibs. You guys know I use these in the boat. Like I said, if you're watching the videos, you guys know I'm always wearing this stuff. Um, super nice, keeps the wind off you, keeps the water off you. Same thing as the jacket. Super slick. Go check out blackfishgear.com and get yourself some. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, everything in this video is all for fun, all jokes. Everybody's having a great time. Um, the main reason I wanted to make this video is obviously for those of you guys that weren't able to make it out, I wanted to show you guys what the show's all about. Obviously, I didn't even know what to expect because um, it was obviously my first time at the show as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had some laughs. It was super cool to meet all of you guys. I had a bunch of you guys come say hi. Um, I brought some hoodies to give away and I literally ran out of hoodies. It was very humbling to see. It was very, very, very cool of you guys to come out and uh, show your love and support. And obviously, enjoy ice fishing. If you guys haven't ever been to an ice show, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you get to either the Wisconsin show next year, the St. Paul show, the Winnipeg show if you're in Canada. Literally, just get to an ice show. It is it is so fun. Everybody's there having a good time, talking, fishing, eating food, whatever, whatever you can think of. Fishing in a trout pond. I mean, there's just so much to do at the ice shows and it's just super, super fun. Um, to have a good time with everybody. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to bring the camera. I got tons of ice content coming your way very, very shortly. So make sure you guys are ready for those. If you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below if you guys were actually at the show or if you plan on going to any shows in the future. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.